们大家好，欢迎收看《活在污点》。我是你们今天的主持人 Milly。哎，那我们今天呢，很高兴的邀请到了两位啊音乐的专业人士啊，和我们分享一下呢，在我们加拿大社区当中，这个音乐啊具体做的怎么样？那很高兴呢，邀请到了两位 Patty 和 Matthew 做客我们的节目间。Hi Patty, Hi Matthew. So first of all, can you do a self introduction? Sure. Oh, I'll start. Uh, my name is Patty Chan, and I'm the president and music director of the Toronto Chinese Orchestra. Um, I've been with the orchestra since the very beginning, mm -hmm. which is about 25 years. 25 years, wow. Yeah. That's really nice. What about Matthew? Uh, my name is Matthew. I am currently the conductor of the Toronto Chinese Orchestra. Uh, both Patty and I were actually born here in Canada um, and did most of our education, our musical education here in Canada. Um, besides conducting right now, uh, I'm a PhD student at the University of Toronto studying music theory. and um, both Patty and I also teach uh, privately as well. Okay, thank you. Wow, PhD student, that is really amazing. Well, nice to have you too in our show today. So, um, Patty, you actually been with the organization for 25 years. So, yeah. is that like uh, you set up the organization? Um, I joined it when it first started, uh -huh. and um, some of the history. Uh, it was started by uh, Hong Kong immigrants mm -hmm. uh, who came to Canada yeah. and they wanted to keep some of their music and their culture. Is he a musician? Um, well, th th most of them were amateur musicians mm -hmm. and they just grouped together to form an orchestra. Yeah. And so that's when I joined and uh, I've been with them ever since. Mm -hmm. And it started off like mostly Hong Kong immigrants, but now it's changing. changing. Over time, it's more because mainland Chinese, of, yeah, right? Uh, Taiwan and uh, local born as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that is really nice. But like, I want to ask you, what interests you to join this organization? Well, I started learning the Erhu when I was a child. I was, well, 12 years old. Uh -huh. And um, it was uh, through uh, Hong Kong immigrants again. Yeah, for sure, Erhu. Yeah. yeah, and uh, my teacher was actually studying at the University of Toronto at the time. And so he had some knowledge about Chinese music, and mm -hmm. he started to teach the younger kids about uh, the Chinese instruments. And so I fell in love with the, uh, the music, mm -hmm. and I fell in love with the Erhu, the, the instrument. And so that's why I continue to um, play in orchestra since then. I see. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. So what about Matthew? So what interests you to join the organization? Um, actually, it was purely by accident. Um, wow. <laughs> you know, I, so uh, after, as I began my music studies, I uh -huh. realized I really liked music. Yeah. Um, and I really liked people coming together to make music. Uh, I, my first instrument is a piano. Mm -hmm. And the unfortunate thing about a piano is you sit by yourself and you play. Well, and you can do two people together, right? Right, <laughs> but then y it, it happens very fr seldomly. You, you don't get that as much as, let's say, if you were playing the arhu, uh -huh. where you get to play with other people. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to become a conductor uh, okay. so I can bring people together. And after I studied conducting, I didn't quite know what to do. I mean, Why? Why uh, not? <laughs> because th th there's always more conductors than there are orchestras. Okay. So it, it's hard to find, uh, to find a job doing conducting. And then a friend of mine uh, introduced me to a conducting competition that was hosted mm -hmm. by the Toronto Chinese Orchestra about uh, three years ago now. Mm -hmm. And so I thought, let's try it. Mm -hmm. uh, so it so happened that, that I won this competition and I was invited to conduct in one of their concerts. Yes. And at the end of that concert, Patty mm -hmm. came up to me and asked, do you want to keep conducting us? And I thought, this is great, uh, sure. Um, so over time, I, I grew to love uh, the sounds of the Chinese instruments, mm -hmm. um, especially uh, we've been going to, to Taiwan mm -hmm. uh, several years now um, to, to listen to Chinese music, yes. to learn Chinese music. So and which one you like better, the Chinese one or the Western one? I can't say. They're, very, they're, they're both very different. Okay. Um, and uh, as I do both more, there are things that a Western orchestra really does well, mm -hmm. and then there are things that a Chinese orchestra really does well. Are you planning to combine these two together? I don't know. I mean, there's, there are opportunities, and, um, and, and, but there are also a lot of challenges combining mm -hmm. the two. Okay, thank you, Matthew. Mm -hmm. So we know the reason why uh, the Hong Kong immigrants start that organization, mm -hmm. but Patty, can you tell, you tell us the vision of the organization? Well, I think in general, the, the formation of the orchestra has that 
keeping the Chinese culture alive, mm -hmm. um, even though uh, they're not uh, people are not in Asia anymore. Yeah. Uh, they've come to Canada, and what makes us special, I think, is that we are formed by uh, the Chinese diaspora, the people that have come over. Um, they may be here uh, like new immigrants, or they may, may be here many generations. Mm -hmm. um, but it brings this group of people together, and um, it it also uh, brings a, an element of the Canadian identity, um, especially for, for me, mm -hmm. since I was also born here. Yeah. Um, how I connect with my culture is through music. Yes. And so... Um, so I the culture, you mean Western culture or you mean Chinese culture? I mean Chinese culture. Okay. The Western culture is all around yes. here. And um, the way I connect with my roots or my Chinese roots is through music. Mm -hmm. And I just love the music. And as Matthew said, like the the Chinese orchestra has some very special elements that's different and unique, uh, different from the Western orchestra. Um, I find that the colors uh, of the music is very different because of the instruments. Mm -hmm. They're very, very special. There's a plucked string section, yeah. which there is none in the Western orchestra. Mm -hmm. And as Matthew said, we have also um, been to Hong Kong, Taiwan, right. um, to uh, listen to orchestras there mm -hmm. and uh, play concerts there as well and so we've learned a lot through those uh, travels and we've also traveled across Canada mm -hmm. uh, to bring Chinese music I guess uh, closer you know even within Canada there's uh, other Chinese orchestras in Canada yes. and we've been fortunate enough to be able to travel to Edmonton and to Vancouver and meet the orchestras there and also play Connecting, together yeah. yeah and connect that way that is really good well, asking you a challenging question as well okay. so uh, comparing with the Western music mm -hmm. and Chinese music, which one you like better? <laughs> um, well, uh, I think it depends on my mood okay, <laughs> for the day. The uh, <laughs> but I, I really like uh, the Chinese music, and mm -hmm. I, I love how, um, as, as I've been traveling back and forth, yep. I've noticed a lot of development. What is the biggest difference, though? The biggest difference, um, I think, the you mean between the Western yes, and the Chinese? Yes, between Western music and Chinese music. I think the Chinese music, it, it's the, the colors that I hear. Okay. Um, the plucked strings, uh, the combined with the bowed strings, mm -hmm. and, and the wind instruments are quite different from the Western wind. Okay. Um, the similarities are the, the double bass and the cello mm -hmm. are in both, are okay. in the Western orchestra and the Chinese orchestra, yeah. and also the, uh, the percussion, some of it is very similar as well. Um, but Chinese music has been evolving so much yes. and changing, and I just love uh, seeing the changes. Mm -hmm. And I want to bring some of that here to Canada to show that Chinese music is still changing and it's very exciting. Okay. Um, but also to bring uh, Canadians uh, to become aware of the this Chinese instruments and Chinese ensembles. Um, so that they will also create music for Chinese instruments. Good, good. So we will have a Canadian identity yep. in the Chinese, in Chinese orchestras. Okay. Thank you so much, Patty. So, Matthew, I want mm -hmm. to ask you, what is the coming season's plan? Uh, a lot of it is um, to build on the vision that Patty uh, shared, mm -hmm. um, bringing Chinese music to to Canada, or or to and then, but not only bringing from one place to another, but also developing our own identity as a Chinese orchestra in Canada. Mm -hmm. um, and that has a lot to do with the players. For example, I shared how uh, I was born and raised and, and educated here. Um, that also has a lot to do with our audiences, many of which are born and raised and educated here. Mm -hmm. uh, or even those who, who, who immigrate, they might not know uh, or have, have, a, have a very deep appreciation for Chinese music. Mm -hmm. um, so, for example, uh, how well do, do, do you know Chinese music? Uh, <laughs> I know our who, for sure. <laughs> yeah. And uh, I think that's uh, like, we have lots of special ones. Mm -hmm. But when I was young, I learned piano, so mm -hmm. that's yeah. kind of Western. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But they have like, a, uh, like Di mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So it is very beautiful. Yeah, yes. uh, like it's different, mm -hmm. yes. like, like Patty said. So in yeah. our community performances, when we go out to perform, uh, let's say uh, uh, during Chinese New Year a lot, 
uh, or other uh, festivals like the Mid-Autumn Festival and so on, mm -hmm. we'll often do these instrument demonstrations and we'll have uh, kids come up and play the, the pipa or the ran mm -hmm. uh, and try them out. Um, in our upcoming concert on December 1st, December 1st, uh, okay. December 1st uh, for example, Patty and I thought, well, how can we better um, connect people with the Chinese music? Not only just the instruments, but also the folk songs that the, that the music mm -hmm. comes from, or the, the different kinds of uh, scales. Right? Uh, music is very often built on scales, mm -hmm. but the Chinese scales are very different from Western scales, and we thought, what if we pointed that out? What if we uh, talked about, here's what you can listen for on stage? Mm -hmm. And then, of course, um, we want to develop an identity as, as Chine Chinese uh, orchestra in Canada, so we always have Canadian compositions written for Chinese music okay. or for the Chinese orchestra, yeah. and we will ask the composers to talk about their pieces. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's our December concert. In our June concert, uh, usually the larger of the two concerts, um, we're very excited to have uh, a very special guest from Taiwan. Mm -hmm. um, uh, we, we affectionately call him Dr. Chen, okay. uh, he, who, and he, he conducts the, the professional little giant Chinese chamber orchestra in Taiwan, mm -hmm. and he's agreed to come and be our guest conductor. Um, and we'll be playing uh, both, uh, y as usual, both classics uh, of, of the Chinese orchestra, as well as contemporary compositions written uh, either here or overseas. Okay, thank you very much. I think that's uh, uh, like you shared a lot with mm -hmm. our audience. So if they want to find more information and recruiting mm -hmm. uh, information, they can go to your website. Yes, yes. Okay. com. Okay, thank yeah. you very much. Thank yeah. you for you two to come to our show today. And thank you for all the audience today. Uh, wish everyone have a great day. Bye. Bye.